There's children that are kidnapped and brought here to be trafficked for strictly sexual and or labor purposes. And there are literally children that are also rented so that people can exploit the asylum process here in the United States by claiming that they're a family unit, they gain entry into this country, and then they never show back up to court, and then the kids are sent back and re-rented. And it was through that that I really went down the rabbit hole and found out that not only was my entire demographic literally being lied to about what was happening at the border, but for me, it and I don't know if it was because of how I grew up, like what I experienced, or but I just, I felt the need to speak up. I felt the need to advocate for people that can't speak for themselves. When you really see what happens to some of these kids, you know, they only hope that someone like a police officer or a border patrol agent or, you know, even an ICE officer would find them because of what they go through. And I don't care where a child's from, in no way, shape or form should anyone turn a blind eye to some of the atrocities, the rape, the trafficking, the kidnapping and the torture of children. Hey PragerU fans, Ana Paulina here. I wanna make sure that you guys get notified for everything that we're posting with Americanos talking about Latino Americans and our American dreams. We're not oppressed, we're not exploited, but we definitely have stories to share and I want you to be a part of that. Make sure you subscribe today.